Guys, 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 I did not expect to get this for Christmas, but look at what my bro-in-law gave me. I'm going to show you this little beauty in a little bit, but first I want to show you this. I also got this really cute little, it's like a coin-type knife, and uh, it says the brand uh, Guardman, and this was given to me by a friend. Thank you, Alma, for giving me this. This is really cute. I enjoy this quite a bit. I'm going to use this in my pocket. I don't think I'm going to use the chain. I think I'm just going to use this kind of like having it in my pocket. And look, it's a little hook knife, guys. It's a little hook knife and it's kind of like a frame lock too. See that? See that? Just like that to open packages. Very nicely made. I really like this. Kind of looks like a like a dinosaur fossil or something, right? But I wanted to show you this little guy. Wow. I mean, um, these are the knife related gifts that I received. Very blessed. I was very blessed this Christmas, guys. And uh, really love this cute little guy, right? Thank you, Alma. Appreciate that very much. I'm going to close that up. Now, my bro in law, Gino, you guys know I made a, a video about a little Victorinox knife I gave my bro in law. And sometimes we exchange gifts, and, and he knows that I have a knife channel. And, and uh, I like to think he sees the videos. And guys, he bought me a Benchmade. And I was totally blown away because when I saw the blue box and I was opening it, I thought, man, I cannot believe that he actually bought me a Benchmade. And if you hear a kitty cat in the back room, excuse my kitty cat. My kitty cat is uh, in heat. So uh, she's looking for romance and that's why she sounds that way. But in any case, check it out. This is the Benchmade Mini Griptilian 556. This has S3OV steel, okay? Um, I think that's the type of steel that it is. Let's check it out. Let's open it up. This was brand new. I broke the seal when I opened it and I was just blown away. Thank you, Gino. This was an amazing gift. And of course it comes in this little pouch, right? We're going to set that down. It comes with this paperwork here. I've never owned a bench made before. Uh, you guys know I'm mostly traditional, uh, in my knives, but, uh, I've been very curious about this knife. So it is talking about how to use the knife, right? It's got a lot of information there. Not gonna go over all that information, but I did wanna show you the knife. So let's check out that knife. We're gonna pull it out. And then in here, there's something else in here. There's a little blue tag. I don't know what this is. What does this say? Axis Benchmade. So I guess this is talking about the access lock. It says the carrying clip has been installed on the right side. I guess it's telling you that you can change it if you want to. So that is pretty cool, right? And here it is. This is the Mini Griptilian. This handle is uh, made of metal, but it's very grippy. And it has these little tiny dots there also made of metal. And it's got this access lock. It's got the thumb stud. And there you have the Benchmade symbol right there. And what does it say there? It says Mel Pardue Design. S30V Steel. Right, it's got a dual thumb stud jimping right there, also. Nice, real sweet. Let's check out that axe lock. What do you say? Look, it's got jimping right here along the spine, it's got jimping back here where you need it. And this mini griptilian, it's just the perfect size, guys. Let's try that axe lock. We're gonna pull it back down, and oh my gosh, that is smooth. That is silky, silky smooth. If, you, if I let go, it kind of wants to grip the knife again. So if I keep it pressed down, it, it kind of like controls. I can control kind of like the friction on that. Of course, if I pull it all the way back down, it is smooth as silk, right? Um, this thing is, I think, what some people call drop shutty, right? It drop shuts down a little bit. Maybe not all the way, will it? No. Maybe with a little bit of, of uh, breaking in, this bad boy is going to just drop really nicely. This is my left hand. So this is an ambidextrous knife. But I got to get used to this because I'm really not used to using these types of knives very much, you know. Uh, it's not that I don't know how, of course, they're very elementary. Uh, you know, us knife guys can figure out how to use these things. But it's just a little bit out of my wheelhouse, you know what I mean? Because I'm more of a traditional guy. And, but I'm gonna enjoy using this knife. Thank you, Gino. I mean, it's just the perfect size. I mean, let's see how long this thing is in the open position. In the open position, we're gonna be one, two, three, four, four inches 
closed in the open position. That to me is just about the perfect size for this knife. Um, you know, that's about the size closed of a buck 110. I'm sorry, of a buck 112, which you guys know I'm crazy about, right? Um, so I really like this knife. So thank you so much, Gino. This is something I never ever would have thought to buy for myself. Uh, but now that I have it, it's just so silky smooth. Um, I really like it. Um, so I'm very happy to have it. It almost wants to bounce back. It's just so quick. It almost wants to bounce back up. It does bounce back up if I don't let it go fast enough. I don't know if that's the way I'm supposed to close it. But uh, of course, the access lock allows you to do that. Um, but um, it's just super cool. So, I mean, you can even use this as a switchblade if you want. I mean, I don't normally have those types of knives. But look at that. Smooth as a baby's butt. Very nice, guys. Very nice. So I wanted to show you my good fortune when it comes to knives this holiday season. Um, I'm just totally blown away by this. See here, you can change the clip right here to this side if you want. Again, excuse my my little cat back there. If you hear it, uh, it's making some interesting noises. It's got an appointment with the vet January 17th to get fixed. Um, it is, uh, it's interesting with that cat, right? Uh, she's coming into her own and she wants some attention, but I will not dare let her out because uh, then we'll have a whole bunch of cats running around here. A uh, whole lot more than we already do. <laughs> All right, amigo. So check it out. Tell me what you think. Do you own this knife? Do you own one of these 5.56 five, mini griptilians? And if so, tell me what you think about it. I know I'm late in the game when it comes to these Benchmade knives. I know that these have been around for a while. And I know that many of you guys probably have these out there. What do you think about them? Do you like them? Do they have any shortcomings? Any advantages I need to know about? You know, I'm just not used to carrying these guys. So let me know. School me on this stuff. Because I'm new to this game. I'm mostly a traditional guy. Look, it's got kind of like a stone wash finish to it. Check out that grind right there. If you look closely, it kind of has another grind right here. See? Very, very subtle. Very subtle. Very nice. Almost has like a scanty grind here, and then it kind of has like another faux. It's not a swedge, I wouldn't call it, because it doesn't go all the way. And see how the blade just tapers down in thickness? It just looks like a very solid blade to me, guys. Drop point design, very, very nice. Uh, thank you so much, Gino. Greatly appreciate it, my friend, my bro. Thank you so much for this. Um, you guys take care, and I hope you guys had a Christmas that was as merry as mine. I have a lot more videos coming out. I have so many knives I want to show you guys, but I wanted to show you uh, my good fortune <laughs> during Christmas. Can you believe it? A Benchmade, guys. A Benchmade. Thank you, my friends.